hello guys and welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we're going to see how can we convert the default database from ZK Teco attendance management from Microsoft Access to SQL Server so as you know the software uses uh, Microsoft Access as the default database okay like here and this is the file of your database the default uh, database uh, and in this video we're going to convert it to uh, sql server database so the first thing is to back up your database to another location and give it a name like uh, okay AT, att backup for example dash one and we add dot mdb okay save so the database is saved now we close the software okay here is our database okay and now we go to sql server management studio and you open your console and we go to database and now we create a new database so i'm going to name it like zk time db for example okay so as you know here is uh, is an empty database okay there is no table uh, here next thing to do is go into open file and go to zk Teco, uh, default folder and choose sql server script this is sql server uh, script file we're going to open it this script will, will create some uh, tables so uh, to let software to connect to our database okay we're going to execute this file and I, if we see here under the tables uh, folder we're going to uh, we're going to refresh and we're going to see here some tables created from this script okay then we close this script here and we go back to our software to connect it to our sql server database okay we're going to open it and here we go to database option and then under provider we're going to change it to provider for sql server and click next here since this is my uh, local server i'm going to enter dot backslash oh, okay, backslash and sql express because his uh, sql express is my uh, sql uh, server instance okay then I'm going to use Windows NT authentication and here I'm going to select my database name. If I'm going to test the connection, okay, the test connection is succeed. Okay, and okay. Okay, now this software is connected to our SQL database, but we need to refresh here to see the more or the others uh, the other tables okay the other tables were shown here after uh, the software is connected to its uh, new database then we need to delete uh, two tables the department tables okay delete and the leaf class table right click and delete it these two tables must be deleted from the database to be so we can import it from uh, the old one then we do right click on the database name and choose tasks and click import data click next and here for a data source we're going to choose microsoft access and click browse and here click on or choose your database name that we exported on the first uh, thing okay then open and click next 
here of course just make sure that the server is a sql server and the uh, database name is here okay then click next and we must uh, choose the first one here and click next and then in this process in this uh, in this window just pay attention to uh, these steps we choose the first one here and click edit mapping and we choose delete rows and destination table and we check this box here to enable entity insert and we click ok and we escape the second table we're not going to import it from the third one we're going to select the, the other tables so select the, the first one and with uh, your keyboard just hold hold on the shift button hold on the shift button and select with uh, the down arrow select the other tables like this and we're going to down here until the last one the last one we're not going to export uh, the, to import it so the, the, we skip the last one here so the selection must be like this from the third one to the last or before last uh, table here. then just check one box and we that we select the all the other tables here click edit mappings again and check the two last boxes like this and click ok after this we're going to our new department table that we must be similar like this it's uh, the new table and we click edit mapping like, uh, again and we go here to this column default uh, schedule id this column we check this box here like this and we click ok and also we're going to leave class table we click edit mapping like this and we're going to the last one last uh, column here we're going to choose uh, the destination we're going to change it to ignore like this so change it to ignore like this and click ok ok then click next and next next and finish and the process will begin like this now we wait that the data uh, will uh, be export, uh, imported from the Microsoft Access database to our new uh, SQL Server database and as you can see here the number of rows that means the number of data that we, uh, the process is uh, importing okay as you can see here we, uh, the process is uh, has been completed successfully just click close and then we finish it here close the sql server management studio and we go back to our uh, software and we're going to open it to see if the data has been imported correctly and as you can see here the machine list has been export, uh, imported the employee of course all my employees has been imported like this without any problem and also if we check the other settings like maintenance tables or like uh, the reports the most important thing is the report okay we're going to see our data here as before so this is how we can import data from my uh, Microsoft Access data database to our SQL server without losing any uh, any data, and uh, we can we can use this to share our software over the network so many users can use it on the same time. Okay, I hope uh, this video can be useful for you, and uh, if you have any problem or have any 
uh, information or request just leave me a comment below the video thank you for watching and see you on the next one